In the last tutorial, we created some colors masking Rua Fe transition. This tutorial is an extension of the previous one, where we are going to learn how to manage video clips for the Luma Fe transition. To achieve the Luma Fe transition, we use three video clips. Excluding the beats in video, the other two video clips are fake drone footage. Therefore, in this video, I'll explain how to create fake drone footage using photos in Photoshop and Premiere Pro. Now you can see two photos, they are from Pixels. By the way, all the photos, videos, and Sam Colors Luma Fade Transition tutorial links are in the description. The first thing you need to do is right click on the photo, then select Open With, and choose Photoshop to open the photo in the Photoshop application. Once the photo is open in Photoshop, the next step is to extend the photo because later we'll create an animation with it. To do this, go to the file and select New to create a new document. In the new document dialog box, set the width value to 1920 and the height to 1920 pixels for a 1080d animation. Make sure the unit set to pixels. Finally, click on create to confirm the creation of the new document. So this is our new document. Now go to the picture tab and select the move tool from the toolbar. Then click and drag the photo from the photo tab onto the new document to place it there. Adjust the size and position of the photo to center it on the background. Next, to extend the photo to cover the bottom and upper parts of the background, we will use the generative fill. First, select the lasso tool from the toolbar. Draw a line or shape with the lasso tool to create a mask on the upper part of the background. Make sure the mask cover the small portion of the photo. This will help the AI process the image effectively. After making the selection, select the generative fill, then click on generate. Photoshop will take a few seconds to analyze and fill the selected area with the content from the surrounding image. You'll notice that Photoshop does a good job of seamlessly extending the photo. If needed, you can explore other options by clicking on the arrow icons. Now let's proceed with extending the bottom portion of the picture. Use the lasso tool to select the area at the bottom that you want to extend. On the selection is made, click on generative fill and then generate. And you see the magic of Photoshop AI. You have a few alternative results to choose from or you can click generative again for new generative fill options until you are satisfied with the result. If you notice any unwanted elements in the image such as the car on the road when zoom in, use the lasso tool to select the area. Click on generative fill and then click generate to remove the selected elements from the image. After completing these steps, zoom out to see the final image or picture that we will animate in Premiere Pro. Now let's save the photo. Go to the file menu and then select save a copy. In the save as dialog box, first choose the file format. Select JPG from the format drop down menu. Next, choose a file name for your image. For example, type Picon as the file name. Click on Save button to proceed. You then see additional options for the JPG file. In the JPG options dialog box, you can adjust the quality settings to ensure maximum quality. Once you have set the options, click OK to save the picture with your selected settings. Similarly, you can apply the same process to complete the second picture for the fake drone animation. You can also find this picture along with the first picture, the sea beach footage and the Sam Colder masking of fake transition tutorial links in the description. Now we are inside Premiere Pro to create the fake drone footage. Here we have the footage and pictures ready for use. To begin making the fake drone footage, start by creating a new sequence. Navigate to the file menu, then select new and choose sequence. In the new sequence dialog box, select sequence preset. For this tutorial, we will choose 1080 30 fps from the presets. Preview the preset description and click OK to confirm the new sequence. Grab the picture from the project panel and drag it onto the timeline. Zoom in on the timeline if needed. The default length of the picture on the timeline is 10 seconds, which will keep unchanged. Next, place the same picture onto the timeline followed by adding the sea beach footage. To start the animation, go to the effects tab and search for the transform effect. Apply this effect to the first picture on the timeline, then navigate to the effect controls panel. Drag the time indicator to the first frame of the picture in the timeline. In the transform effect, click on the stopwatch icon next to the position to set a keyframe. Now decrease the y value of the position to move the image upwards. Next move the time indicator to the last frame of the picture's duration on the timeline. Increase the y value of the position to move the image downwards. When you make a change, a new keyframe will automatically be added at the frame where the change was made. After that, play with the time indicator to observe the animation. For a natural motion blur effect, adjust the shutter angle value to 180 or higher. Note that this effect might be invisible due to the slow animation speed. Now apply the same animation to the second image to ensure the same movement as the first image. Select the first image on the timeline, then go to the effect controls panel. Copy the transform effect by hitting the Ctrl plus C simultaneously. 
Next select the same image on the timeline and hit Ctrl plus V to paste the transform effect onto this image. You instantly see the transform effect parameters appear in the effect controls panel for the second image. Play the animation or video to see how the movement looks on both images. Now let's continue with the rest of the animation for the first image to make it appear like a drone footage. Go to the project panel and look at the car image. Drag the car image from the project panel onto the timeline, placing it on a second video layer above the first image layer. Select the car image layer on the timeline, then go to the effect controls panel and adjust the rotation of the car image. Scale the car image to an appropriate size to fit realistically within the scene. Set the time indicator to the first frame of the animation, then click the stopwatch icon next to position. To set a keyframe for the car's starting position, adjust the X and Y values of the position to place the car at the bottom of the scene, where it will start its movement. Move the time indicator to the last frame of the animation. Adjust the X and Y values of the position to position the car at the top of the scene, simulating its movement upwards. Play the video to observe the car running along the road in the jungle, creating the illusion of drone footage. Next, navigate to the export tab in Premiere Pro. Choose a file name, select the export location and specify the desired video format and other settings such as rendering at maximum depth and using the maximum render quality. Finally, click on render to start rendering the video footage. Your video clip is now ready. You can then proceed to watch the Samcoder Masking Luma Fade Transition in Premiere Pro. Tutorial link in the description to learn how to create the Luma Fade Transition using the fake drone footage you have created. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful. Feel free to explore other interesting breakdown tutorials on this channel. Stay tuned for the next video.